Good afternoon. My name is Sergo. I am a partner of Westbridge Integrity Consulting Company. And today I would like to tell you about the SK rating tool. This tool is very important for every retailer and wholesaler because they always need to prioritize their SKUs. Uh, this tool also gives you the possibility to rate SKUs based on two options, two different options. First one is ABC analysis and another one is score rating. Why score rating is added to this tool? Because ABC analysis has some drawbacks. For example, it does not take into consideration the cost of capital. It does not take into consideration the SKU turnover and it does not take into consideration the profitability of SK. That's why the score rating is added to this tool, which gives the very precise picture for the SKU rate dating. Let's go to sheet SKU and uh, see how this file works. All you have to do is fill in only the yellow cells, even if there is a formula in there. We insert the historical period into these cells. We insert for cost period into these cells. Here we select the currency, and here we insert the annual cost of capital. <clears throat> you can see in the picture that it sort of consists of two parts. Part one that uh, comprises the historical data and part two that comprises the forecast data. This tool is very flexible and gives you possibility to rate SKUs either based on historical data or forecast data. It is up to you to choose which one you want to use. If you decided to use the rate SKUs based on historical data, then you have to fill in only this part, yellow part, and you don't have to fill in this part, and vice versa. If you want to read your SK based on forecast data, you fill in only this yellow part, and you do not fill this yellow part. Now, suppose you want to read your SK based on historical data and using ABC analysis, then you only have to click on this button and look what happens with this column. Let's go. Here we go. We got. ABC rating based on historical data. <clears throat> However, if uh, as I told earlier, ABC rating has some drawbacks. That's why if you decided to use SKU score rating, which gives more precise information, you click on this button. Let's see what happens. Here we go. This uh, process uh, rated the SKUs. And uh, <clears throat> now we see, if we compare these two columns, we see that ABC analysis didn't give us the best picture because you see some of the CSKUs happen to be pretty nice SKUs here. The same applies to this part. If you decide to rate your SKUs based on forecast data, and using ABC analysis, you click this button, and here you get the ABC analysis. Again, if you want to use the forecast data and read SKUs based on score, which is recommended, you click on this button, and you receive the rating. Now, important thing is that sometimes companies decide to cut off the number of SKUs. Uh, which means they want to reduce all the total number of SKUs they hold. In this case, you have to decide, uh, you have to set a criteria below which all the bad SKUs will be cut off. This area should be inserted in this cell, H14, for the historical data, or cell AH14 for the forecast data. For example, you decide that you want to cut off bad SKUs that fall into 10 percentile group. Then you insert 10 here, and you see that the bad SKUs falling under that 10 percentile group 
will be highlighted in red. If you, for example, insert 20% percentile group, then you will get three bad SKUs that should be cut off. The same applies for this part. When you get these figures, see, you, we have three bad SKUs that should be cut off, and in total, we have 15 SKUs here, as you could see here, 15 SKUs. Now, these three SKUs uh, constitute 20% of the total 15 SKUs. This figure you can see here. And, and similarly, you see this same figure here. Another important and valuable information is in here. You have totally 5,000 SKUs. You can, you can go ahead and insert here 5,000 SKUs, which is reflected here. You have, for the historical rating, you have remaining SKUs 12, because three of them were cut off. This is for historical rating SKU. And for the forecast, again, it's here. You see two SKUs that were cut off, so 13 remained. As you can see, the these two SKUs are reflected in here. So 13.3% of all SKUs will be cut off if you decide to use the criteria of 10% time. That's pretty much about it. And uh, I was happy you listened to uh, this topic and I uh, hope this was useful to you. Thank you for your attention.